is applying for a university master's degree in cybersecurity a mistake? Let me answer this question for you. So if you are a person who is already wanting to be academic, you want to take a PhD and post PhD and work as a researcher, then this video is not for you. But if you want to be to work in the industry, uh, analyzing attacks, responding to incidents or simulating these attacks in the offensive security side, then the answer is yes, this is a mistake. Here's why. My name is Amrit Habit and I have worked in cybersecurity for over 10 years, working in some of the top companies around the world, including Symantec, Tenable and others. And I'm also a speaker and trainer in some of the top conferences around the world, including Black, Black Hat, Def Con, Hack in Paris and others. And here's the thing. Universities focus more on evergreen theoretical knowledge rather than the practical ones. They focus on what's an incident in general, what's a cyber attack in general, rather than focusing on the current threats that the companies are facing right now, rather than focusing on EBT attacks or target attacks or target ransomware attacks. They want to focus on general knowledge. And general knowledge is great, but it doesn't get you to actually understand what you need to do in, in the real job how real attacks happen, how they get their foot in, inside the organization, how they escalate bridges, how they move laterally inside the organization, what are the techniques, the tools they are using, and how they are using them to take over the whole organization, how the cloud works and Azure ED attacks, and the whole idea. So you don't learn what is really needed in the market right now, rather than a lot of, uh, a lot of theoretical knowledge that doesn't really help you in your next job. And the second thing is that they don't focus on practical hands-on practice. They don't focus on the practice part. They don't help you learn how to respond to attacks, how to perform log analysis, how to, to perform memory forensics, digital forensics, to respond to the current threats that's happening right now, how to identify persistence mechanisms inside the uh, inside the the windows machine inside linux machine or inside the whole uh, identity uh, the identity uh, or active directory attacks so you're not able to understanding all of this or even simulating these attacks if you are an offensive security analyst um, developing your own scripts your own backdoors or your own tools perform identity attacks or active directory attacks skeleton privilege lateral movement and perform azure ed attacks or aws attacks so you don't learn the things that you would be really using in your in your next job you might say well i will get a degree and this degree will help me open lots of doors and opportunities to find the job which is really true but here's the thing there is a way easier and better option and cheaper option than doing that is by showcasing your skills in your own blog, in your own uh, resume, in your own LinkedIn profile. That could be through technical reports, could be through researches, could be by developing your own tools, publish them on GitHub or publish them everywhere. Not only that they will give you an opportunity to, uh, to, to get a job, they will also get hiring managers and recruiters reaching out to you to uh, to to get you to work in their team and also they will give you opportunities to speak in different conferences and showcase yourself more and more get more exposure and get to connect with a lot of people so here's the thing if you really want to learn the practical skills of cybersecurity, and learn how you can actually perform from log analysis to threat intelligence to uh, the threat hunting to instant response or the learning the offensive side from uh, from red teaming from developing your own tools from performing web attacks or identity attacks inactive directory or azure or any of these things and learning the actual practical skills handle skills and get someone to help you through the door we actually have a, a complete program called masters called multi-track cybersecurity masters program and here's the thing because of what I saw in the university master's program, I decided to build something that is industry-based, that is actually helping you in the industry. You will not get the certificate, you will not get the degree of the university that will give to you, but you'll get the practical hands-on skills, and they will guide you through to showcase your skills in your own resume, in your own LinkedIn profile, in your own blog, so you can get more and more opportunities and get real exposure in front of the other people. Check out the link to this master's program down below and you'll find a way how you what's exactly the program is happening right now if the door is open to uh, to enroll because we open it only a few times in the year and we close it after that and as well you get the 
you will get the opportunity to fill an application and get a call with me so I can guide you through and give you the whole roadmap for your career to build your, your career inside the inside cybersecurity in the industry where you know exactly what companies really want you to be. And as well, you can take that roadmap for yourself or join us in the master's program. Hope that helps and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.